Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 17th, 2021. Well, thanks everyone for giving me that time off. Um, we had a fantastic um, had a fantastic week doing lots of hiking, spending a whole lot of time in nature. Boy, it's amazing how getting out there in the mountains, smelling those pine trees can revive a guy and um, give him that inspiration to just keep pushing on forward. Let's take a look at these markets here this morning. And obviously you guys had a tremendous amount of price volatility uh, last week and probably are suffering um, still from a little bit of shell shock from the violence of that move. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Well, let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the markets for the day. Certainly, we had a ugly sell-off last week that resulted in a big, strong bounce back in the diamonds and the SPY, but it still left us with some concerns. So first off, let's take a look at our trend here if we were to mark a trend up through here and i you know if you mark it up through here we held that price support on that trend if we mark it up through here we kind of broke that price support um, in that um, trend now i think i'm going to go with this longer trend down here to be honest but i still have a concern first off if we take a look at this price level right here what we have to recognize is that we did break that price support and although that we um, had that big bounce relief rally coming back up we are still below that level right there and if we see selling today come back in if we were to lose this price support and we can see right now in the pre-market we've got a little bit of selling if we were to lose that little price support again that could really raise some pressure here on um, that diamonds chart now what probably would be the best circumstance i can't say that we're going to get that but what would be nice is if we could just kind of drift along here sideways and calm down a little bit from that um, kind of shocking um, sell-off if we could rest in this area and by the way that area could be wider than that if we could rest in this area and kind of hold up in here we may calm enough that we could see those bulls re-engage to the upside but be really careful and expect considerable volatility in the days ahead as we continue to react to higher than expected inflation numbers the uncertainty as to what will occur with the fomc and um, of course cybersecurity threats and and um battles over there in Israel raising concerns so we've got a lot on our plate here that could add significant volatility to the price action of the market let's take a look at the spy now SPY also had a nice bounce back and if we were to measure right through here that trend notice that we did significantly break price support um, in the move and we broke down below this price level and unfortunately in the rally back last week um, last couple of days of the week we didn't really resolve that problem and so we still have this resistance level up here to be concerned by keep in mind that this is a bearish engulfing candle here and that is putting um, some interesting uh, well kind of an interesting spin on this if we were to fail in this area if we see more selling and push that back down that very well could confirm a lower high in the SPY now I have to go back and say let's all let's be fair and in being fair we held the 50-day moving average which is a good sign that we held in here but if we can't break back above this level in here that 
could be a major problem for us in the market. So let's watch that closely. Now, another way that you could look at this, um, notice that I had drawn that trend up through here, those last two lows. But what if we go back just a little bit further and draw through here? Notice that we did hold that price support in that chart. But once again, we still have that resistance level up here that we're going to have to deal with and certainly could be uncomfortable if we were to show a failure pattern in there. Once again, I think one of the better things that could occur here is if we were to just rest right in this area, kind of filling this out toward this trend, that would calm things down quite a bit. Now let's keep in mind if, if this actually does come in as a failure, um, and we start seeing the market sell off, let's notice that the next level of price support is significantly lower. So if we begin a downtrend, the pain of this market could become pretty substantial. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at the cues. Now the NASDAQ created the biggest problem for the market and left the biggest technical damage in the chart. Now, when we talk about trends, uh, trends are certainly um, easy to identify if we remember um, the highs and lows of the trend. So we are now officially in a downtrend for the short term in the QQQ. We broke this price support. We tested that price support as resistance, creating our first lower high and that followed through with a lower low. That is a confirmed downtrend. There's no other way to look at that at the moment. Now, as you can see, we are showing some pressure here this morning in the pre-market and that possibility that we could push back lower. And just as this price resistance up here affected the price action of the chart, let's note that we have some price area right through here that could affect this chart as support and some price resistance right through here that could affect this price as resistance. So when we have price resistance here and price resistance of the downtrend, it's kind of like that little bit of a double whammy. Will we have enough price support in here to hold this or will those bulls be able to, or bears be able to push that back down through there? which would suggest the possibility of a double bottom or even another lower low in the NASDAQ. We have some price support down here that could hold that if we were to break on through to the downside. Now, if we're going to come up, we need to hold, we need to hold this price support in here. We need to rest right in here. We need to hold that and then break through that downtrend. If we can break through the downtrend, hold it as support, then we have that opportunity that we could start to resume to the upside. However, we do have some major technical problems starting to show up here in the chart. Notice that we could be failing at the 50 day moving average today if those bears were to push back in here. We call this a blue ice failure in um, right way options and we'll want to watch that pretty closely if that were to occur and fail notice that a very normal price pattern that occurs is if we fail at the 50 day moving average then we would look at that 200 day moving average as the next target in um, that chart. So keep a close eye on that. The other thing that we want to keep an eye on is just noticing that our shorter term moving averages are starting to move down and create a zone of price resistance right in here in that area. So QQQ has some significant technical damage to overcome in the chart. And then if we look at IWM, IWM also has some significant technical damage to overcome. Notice that we officially are in a short-term downtrend. We have lower highs followed by lower lows, breaking this price support in the chart. Now, although we bounced back up um, on Friday or Thursday and Friday trying to recover that, that doesn't change this potential downtrend and that possibility 
that those bears could come back in at any point here, pushing us lower. Let's also keep in mind, we've got some price resistance right there that we're going to have to deal with in the chart. So once again, we have some technical damage here in this chart. Notice that we've broken down below our 50 day moving average with an absolute failure here on a bearish engulfing candle right there at the 50 day. So as we rally back up in here, that's going to provide some significant technical resistance in the chart, including that downtrend in that we have a resistance area up here that could be substantial. So don't be too surprised if we continue to see some more selling here at IWM. Now, if we're going to recover this, we need to break back above that 50 day and hold up here then we have that opportunity we could resume an uptrend. But right now we have some problems here technically to deal with. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX, and I've mentioned this over and over and over here, I was worried about these higher lows coming into that chart. And I've been talking about that um, uh, well talked about it multiple times and then we broke back above this level as fear really came into the market now let's notice that we had this downtrend going on here and we broke that downtrend to the upside and what I've said over and over and over is that doesn't matter all that much what matters is if we break that downtrend and we end up finding a way to hold this area right in here as price support. Now, obviously we had significant volatility in the market and if we hold this area in here and see sellers coming back on, this is where the real selling could begin. And I mean, serious selling could begin if we hold that higher low and see that fear coming back into the market. So make sure you're not just rushing back in blindly into this market and chasing stocks that zoomed back up for a couple of days. We really are at that risk point um, if we have another reason for those bears to attack, this could become very serious. So be really, really careful um, in how you approach the market. Um, let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And I want you to notice that we zoomed down here um, to an oversold condition. And in just that two day period, Thursday and Friday, we zoomed all the way back up here to almost an overbought condition in the short term. Now keep in mind, we have those resistance levels above that are going to challenge us here in the chart. And what this all or nothing market makes this very, very dangerous. And that possibility that if we were to fail at some of those resistance levels, that we could see that zoom come back, but unfortunately back to the downside. Probably one of the better things that could occur for us here is if the market would just consolidate and rest. If we could get this to rest in here, then we could still find that possible inspiration to push a little bit higher. But just keep in mind, um, we've got some technical issues that we're going to have to deal with here. And this is not the most comfortable of situations um, at all. When we zoom down and zoom straight back up, makes for a very dangerous market. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now, T2101, unfortunately, rallied but it rallied on the sell wave of the market. Notice how uh, when we really sold off, we had that big rally in our T2101. And so that is a concern. If breadth, market breadth, is going to re increase on the selling wave, that could mean that we're getting more and more pressure for that downside move in the market. Watch that carefully. Now, we remain underneath this downtrend, um, in in that move. So it may not be serious yet, but it's certainly notable and something we want to be paying attention to if that were to occur. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar has a couple things that we'll want to pay attention to, but probably nothing that's really market moving today. Um, we're going to have Empire State Manufacturing numbers and the housing market numbers. 
Now, I'll submit to you probably the more important thing to be keeping an eye on today is this right here. This Fed speaker, the vice chairman of the Fed, will be speaking today. That could be... Um, heavily watched, it might be interesting to pay attention to that with the new inflation numbers out. It might be interesting to see what he says and um, find out if he's starting to think there is a change occurring here in the market. Also keep in mind, we've got the FOMC minutes on Wednesday. And what that means is we could actually see the market become a little bit stale and stagnant. Um, over the next couple of days as we wait for that that um, release, hoping that it gives us a little bit of information about what the Fed's next action could be. So keep a close eye on that. Notice the rest of the week we've got housing starts. Um, this one certainly it can be a market mover, the petroleum status number. Um, those jobless claims are going to continue to be kind of a pesky thing to have to deal with. Um, here in the market, particularly as we are concerned with inflation and, and issues are around that, how businesses may be responding. We've got the Philly Fed, PMI, and existing home sales at the end of the week. So kind of keep those things in mind as we move through the week. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, interestingly enough, we have a big earnings calendar today with over 190 companies listed on the calendar, but the the vast majority of those are the really small cap stocks and they're unconfirmed numbers. So that being said, we don't have that many notables that I pulled out for today uh, to, uh, to pay attention to. So let's take a look. By the way, if you're interested in the list of notables, you can always click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where I list those um, stocks. TWNK, whoops. TWNK might be something to pay attention to here. Um, who doesn't love their Twinkies, right? Um, Hostess um, will be reporting today. Um, this being one of those consumer defensive stocks, notice how strongly this has been trending. Probably something to pay attention to. Notice we broke through some resistance. We're holding it as support. A good solid report here could continue to support that stock on higher. So watch that close. How about IBIO? IBIO will be reporting today. Keep a close eye on that. Little biotech, not exactly something that I would be at all interested. Well, I'm not at all interested in it. But um, uh, one of the notables that I was able to pull out today that may have some interest to some folks. Take a look at that uh, price pattern right there. We're kind of in that decision point. Little tiny guy, nothing I would be trading, but something to watch. Take a look at Ride, R-I-D-E. Uh, Ride um, obviously has suffered a major, major sell-off here. As it report er, reports earnings today, that could be an interesting situation. So watch that closely, obviously in a downtrend. Um, R-Y-A-A-Y. You can see this has been in a beautiful, nice little uptrend here. Airlines have enjoyed a nice little recovery. And although they're not really recovering uh, their losses yet, they are seeing ridership and things move up and um, holding a nice um, area of support in here. If this can get a, a good report, could move a little bit higher. And last but not least that I have for today is TME. TME, um, Obviously, not doing very well here recently. This ugly sell-off, pushing back to the downside. We're trying to hold some surprise support in the chart, but something to keep an eye on for today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos are not to add to the hype and drama of the market. They're really intended to look at the technicals of the chart and try to determine how we might best exploit the price action of those charts. And if you find this to be helpful, if you could please 
also click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and i just have to say thanks to everyone who does do that i never would have guessed over 20,000 subscribers now and um that success um is due to you guys and and everyone who participates with the channel thank you so much and for those that would like to support the channel um there is a link just below the title of the video where you can actually buy me a coffee and the buy me a coffee fund is is um uh, funds that I'm using to help enhance and improve um, content on the channel. So if you choose to support the channel that way, I want to say thank you. And I want to give a big shout out to those who have um, supported the channel um, that way. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks and probably more importantly, some sector areas that are kind of interesting um, in the market. Take a look at like XLP. Now, XLP, um, the consumer staples, have, have has done pretty darn well here. And you can see holding up very, very strongly. So you might want to take a look at some of the stocks here in XLP. And they're going to be the kind of things that everyone knows. Um, MKC, um, Hormel, Kimberly Clark, Procter & Gamble, um, uh, Walmart coming up in here, KHC. KHC has been unbelievably strong. Take a look at Philip Morris. Take a look at Mo. All of these are pretty good stocks that are looking um, very, very strong. And with rising inflation numbers, we might expect these to stay very, very strong um, overall. Take a look at PepsiCo close to a potential breakout. Coca-Cola also close to a potential breakout in the chart. So quite a few stocks in there to pay attention to. That would be a good place to maybe take a look. Take a look at the stocks in energy. Um, XLE energy has been very, very strong and continues to hold up well um, here in the market. You can see beautiful upside trend holding in here and we could actually be setting up here for the next upside move in XLE. And we all know these stocks as well. If we take a look at some of these, take a look at Hess. Hess, very, very strong to the upside, um, looking good. HFC, looking pretty good here, trying to hold some price support, may start to move on higher. Take a look at NOV, very strong. So lots of stocks in here that you could take a look at that could be setting up and potentially moving higher here um, energy sector looking pretty strong another sector that you might want to take a look at take a look at xop gas and oil expiration quite a few stocks in here that we'll want to pay attention to notice that that sector is holding up quite well um, i think we should also take a look at xlb xlb stocks material sector extremely strong and Let's take a moment here. This is going to incorporate a lot of the gold and silver miners and things like that. We've seen um, big moves here recently on some gold and silver miners looking very, very strong. As a matter of fact, silver and gold themselves are looking very, very bullish. So keep an eye on some of these stocks. You know, stocks like International Paper, beautiful upside move. Um, copper extremely strong and could be setting up an additional upside move here in the chart there are a lot of good stocks in these sectors looking good so even though the market is showing a lot of a lot of flakiness a lot of volatility there are some sectors and albeit they are kind of a bit boring on those sectors but they're looking pretty good in here um, overall um, in these nice comfortable trends and last but not least take a look at the financial sector financials are holding up quite strongly here um, XLF looking really really good showing bullishness in the market and of course we know all of these stocks um, you know the AIGs of the world beautiful potential setup here for um, more upside PNC financial looking strong we've got um, CB Chubb looking really strong. We've got stocks like Goldman Sachs in this list looking beautiful. BAC um, looking beautiful. W, whoops, not that one. BAC, uh, WFC uh, very, very strong. 
Um, so keep an eye on some of those stocks in that financial sector looking, um, looking beautiful. A couple others that I want to make mention of that you might want to be paying attention to here. Um, NKLA, now I've been keeping a close eye on this and it just hasn't been ready for prime time here um, in um, this chart. There's the daily chart. And if you take a look at this, I've extended my alert over into here and I'm watching this downtrend break, this higher low, it's trying to hold up in here and I'd be looking for that opportunity to maybe have that pop on through to the upside. I, I need to also mention like Johnson & Johnson, J&J &J showing lots of strength here. This rest or pullback that could occur right in here sets up an opportunity, I think, in J&J. &J. And I would be absolutely remiss if I didn't mention uh, both silver and gold, SLV. SLV looking good, SLV trying to move higher today. Beautiful upside trend in this chart and GLD making that same move. Now keep in mind, GLD will be running in some, to some fairly significant resistance here soon. I don't know that I would want to chase this today, but watch that closely as those precious metals continue to move higher. So, hey everyone, this video is a little bit longer than normal. I need to cut this off. I want to say thank you to everyone. I do appreciate you guys being here and thanks for letting me take that little bit of time off. It was, it was needed. It, I, in fact, I really didn't know how much I needed it. Um, thank you so much. Hopefully you've followed along with some of the, the vlog postings that I've made on the trip and um, um, got, some, got some fun inspiration yourself there for some time off. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you great success in your trading. We'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.